This podcast is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. You can now get $400 off every window and $800 off every entry and patio door from now until the end of August. That's $0 down, zero payments, and 0% interest for a year and a half. Call 717-727-7558 or visit rbacentralpa.com slash deals to get more information. Remember, deal ends August 31st. A mall was evacuated over the weekend due to a smash-and-grab robbery. In Pittsburgh, cops get ahead of the violence. Residents of one township have sued in response to the potential expansion of a landfill. Finally, this owl went from stinky to lucky. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in a PA. The Philadelphia Mills Mall was evacuated on Saturday due to a smash-and-grab robbery, reports the Associated Press. Cops were called to the Hobby or the Jeweler Jewelry Store at around 7 p.m. after four men entered the location and used pepper spray on employees. They then proceeded to break open cases of jewelry with a sledgehammer before stealing the items inside. The mall was immediately evacuated and the injured employees treated by emergency responders. Further information regarding arrests remains pending, and the store confirmed via social media it will remain closed through today. Two cops in Pittsburgh were on surveillance at around 5 in the morning on Sunday outside of a nightclub known as the Bat Cave when they noticed a man acting strangely nearby, reports the Tribune Review. This man, later ID'd as Penn Hills resident Willie Todd, was walking between parked cars and shoving his hands in his pockets, suddenly stopping to squat down and stand up multiple times in a row. With their suspicions now aroused, the cops radioed their sergeant, who then positioned a city camera on Todd. This footage revealed he was holding a handgun. When Todd finally stood still to take an athletic stance, a stance cops are trained to recognize as the position one takes to open fire, The two policemen ran towards Todd and ordered him to put his hands in the air. He did, tossing the gun aside. Todd was arrested without incident, making this the 17th gun arrest the two unnamed officers have made in the last month alone. Tell Zone 5 Commander Stephen Vinansky to the Tribune Review, quote, We tried to get ahead of the violence. This time, these officers couldn't have done better. The Lower Salkin Township Council members proposed back in June to rezone land next to the Bethlehem landfill and declare waste disposal a permitted use across the entirety of the land, states Lehigh Valley Live. And residents, in response, have sued. This land, according to the suit, is protected by conservation easements that were implemented about three decades ago. Under it, says attorney Gary Estake, quote, No one, including the township, has the unilateral ability to just simply say, no, we're going to just let the landfill use it. No, it can just be a pile of trash. Additionally, under the Pennsylvania Donated or Dedicated Property Act, taking away the protection to permit waste disposal on protected land needs approval from Northampton County Orphans Court. The council proposed a similar rezoning effort back in December, which residents also sued over. The township will host a public hearing on the matter tomorrow morning. A state game warden came upon a great horned owl last month that appeared to have been stuck in a manure pit for two days, begins Penn Live. The owl was quickly taken to the Raven Ridge Wildlife Center in Washington Borough, Lancaster County, where employees described it as being weak from severe dehydration and eye trauma. That trauma was later found to be the result of a BB gun wound, the pellet of which was found stuck in the owl's eye socket. Weeks later, the owl first called Stinky, now goes by the name Lucky as he's fully on the mend and looking much better. Says Raven Ridge employee Tracy Young, quote, To look at this owl now, today, you would never know was the same owl. That wraps up today's episode. For more news, drop by penlive.com. Also, please don't forget to rate this podcast, either Apple or Amazon, and to share it around with someone you think would enjoy it too. Thanks ahead of time, and as always, thanks for listening. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and I'll be back again tomorrow for another round of Today in PA.
podcast is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. You can now get $400 off every window and $800 off every entry and patio door from now until the end of August. That's $0 down, zero payments, and 0% interest for a year and a half. Call 717-727-7558 or visit rbacentralpa.com slash deals to get more information. Remember, deal ends August 31st.